friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we got a piece of mail. This came to our new P.O. box, which if you haven't already seen it in the closing segment of the videos, that is it. P.O. Box 1134 in Pismo Beach, California. So if you are interested in sending us a letter or trading sig figs or anything like that, that is an address that you can use. Anyway, these were purchased through a sale uh, facilitated through a friend of ours named Minifigure Collector. I'll leave a link for his channel uh, in the description. Um, but he was instrumental in helping me get these at uh, pretty close to retail price rather than paying the scalper prices that you see common on Amazon and eBay. Masters of the Universe, Skeletor, and He-Man. So here they are. These are both from the Heroes Series 1 Micro Action Figure Collection. These were originally sold on uh, small card backs, uh, similar to other action figures, but these were, of course, from Mega Constructs. Um, these were the first two from the Masters of the Universe line. Uh, since then, they have released Beast Man, Faker, Man at Arms is coming, along with Tila, and uh, there are some others coming out as well. There's also going to be a vehicle, and I just heard that they are going to be releasing a Castle Grayskull, which is going to be a very large, uh, multi-thousand piece uh, set that will include uh, all of the minifigures plus a new Sorceress figure. So um, if you're at all interested in Masters of the Universe, that's something that might be of interest to you. So anyway, as you can see here, we have Skeletor and He-Man. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these individually. And here we have Skeletor, and he has his staff, which is pretty well done. It's a kind of a creepy kind of goat head thing on top of it. Um, the face is done very well. Um, he's got a nicely built up physique. He's got some purple armor and loincloth. Uh, just like all of the Mega Constructs figures, um, they have articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so they can look up and down, left and right. Their arms can splay and rotate all the way around. They can bend at the elbow and turn at the elbow, and they're also articulated at the wrist, so they can bend around. The legs can splay about so far, and then they can move at the hip and the knee. And... Uh, that's uh, oh, and they can twist at the waist. So very poseable, very much like uh, you know good quality action figures. Um, very well detailed sculpt. Um, I like that armor and the loincloth. As I said, he's got some um, armor on his shins as well. His feet are interesting. I never paid much attention to the feet on the old action figure uh, or in the cartoon, but I guess they're not quite human. So that you was know, kind of interesting. Um, there is a hole on the back that you could potentially attach an accessory or something at some point, but he didn't come with anything to put on there. Um, his staff is made up of two pieces. The head is a little bit rubbery. Um, I think that's for the sake of these horns so that they don't um, splinter and break. This is all one piece here. Uh, almost looks like uh, you know a regular cone piece with a bar uh, inserted in it, but uh, they don't come apart. That's all one piece, and that works out very well. And then his base is made up of two pieces. There is this uh, brick here that is kind of like a jumper plate because uh, it's offset instead of being four, it's three studs on the top as you can see and that allows the feet to be spread just a little bit on there so he fits nicely. And then there's this printed Skeletor kind of sloped piece um, that the plate attaches to on the back end. So that is Skeletor. This is, of course, He-Man, and uh, he's done very well, and this is very reminiscent of the original action figure from Mattel that came out back in the early 80s. He's got the uh, power sword here. Um, unfortunately, as you notice, Skeletor did not come with his half of the sword, and this is a complete sword. It's not the half, so unlike the old uh, action figures, you can't take the two halves and put them together. This is just one complete sword. Also, He-Man did not come with his battle axe, which is also unfortunate, but he did come with a shield, which is very well done. And there's just a, oops, a little bit of a, a handle on the back. Then he's got the nice armor piece with that red cross in the middle, and the golden belt, and the furry boots, and he's got these uh, 
spiked bracelets on either side. Uh, just like all the other micro action figures, he has the same articulation that Skeletor did, so he can rotate all the way around, bend at the elbow, uh, twist at the wrist and at the elbow, the head's on a ball joint, twist at the waist, and knees can bend and all that jazz. So the armor piece is a little bit rubbery, which is good and make it easier to take on and off. Uh, I'm not going to do that now, but um, it is removable, although it, uh, it probably is not recommended uh, just for the sake of it being fragile over time. But uh, the figure is pretty well done. Um, I was not into Masters of the Universe as a kid. That was a little bit after my time. However, uh, my brother Cameron was very much into it, and uh, so I remember these guys very well. And even though it wasn't necessarily my thing at the time, they still hold some nostalgia for me. So anyway, um, that is He-Man and his nemesis, Skeletor, from the Masters of the Universe Hero series. And you can look for another video soon with uh, Faker and Beastman. And then as I acquire more of these, then I will show them to you as well. So anyway, once again, I'd like to thank Minifigure Collector for setting up this sale for me. I was able to get these for... Uh, less than scalper prices, which I appreciate because these guys are now going for about 15 to $20 each. Um, and they have a retail price of about $5. So anyway, thanks again, Minifigure Collector. If you haven't checked out his channel, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, so check him out. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.